Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's October 20th, 2021. Uh, and around this time of year is when we have our first frost. Now, our temperature will get down into the um, uh, into the 30s this week in the next several days, our seven day forecast. But uh, over the following week, we usually have our first frost here in Oswego, New York. So I thought what I'd do is talk about uh, the fig trees in our nursery uh, at this point. Now I've made videos in the past about the uh, fig trees and how we care for them, how we prune them, how we, uh, the ones that are in pots, most people that buy these fig trees uh, will buy the trees and bring them inside during the winter months and then bring them out in the uh, summer months. And we talked in the in previous videos how uh, how pruning them and based on what your goals are, whether you want to have the tree uh, be in a corner or or be in like this tree here, putting it into a greenhouse setting so we can have the pot down there, hold this main limb off to the side and prune off every other one of these, and next year each one of these will shoot up pretty tall and produce figs as well. So uh, I'm not going to go over too much more of this, but I thought I'd, sh I'd share a, just a couple more thoughts uh, this, this season. So these, all these fig trees that are in pots out here, all of these ones were started, were, were overwintered in the coop area right over there. So that's where I'm going to be putting them uh, this week and uh, to store them over winter months. I'll do some pruning on them to make it easier to get them secured inside of the building. And next year they'll come up. But one of the things that happens is uh, because they, it's a warmer environment inside the coop, even though it isn't heated, uh, they will start to leaf out. And those leaves, once I bring them out outside, will will basically uh, not be hardened off like we do our garden plants. So if you're a homeowner and you have the single pot and you want to keep it inside in your garage or in your house over the winter months, then what you want to do is gradually introduce it to, uh, to the full powers of the sun by gradually hardening it off, bringing it out maybe for an hour uh, at one time on a full sun day, then bringing it back in, and the next day maybe may bringing it out for two hours, and then going back inside again. And then you gradually get it to the point where it can take eight hours. So it may take one to two weeks. Uh, two weeks would be safer if they start leafing out before you put them outside. Now this is in very cold climate climates. We're in zone 5A here. Uh, in, in Oswego, New York. And some of these trees are, have been pruned for different functions like this one. Uh, this was, was pruned to be a, basically an indoor sort of a showpiece and produce figs as well. Another thing that I've talked about in the past is if you're going to produce fruit, if your goal is to produce a lot of fruit, you need to pinch the apical bud, uh, this bud right here in about June. Uh, in this climate here. So if you're south of Syracuse, New York, you can probably do it at the end of June. Here in Oswego, New York, or, or in climates like ours here, we'd want to do that uh, probably uh, at the end of June. Uh, I won't talk too much more about it, but I'll show you a couple of other. Last fall, I, tr I transplanted these trees, the oaks, the maples, the uh, uh, honey locusts, uh, the black locust over there as well. And I also took a couple of these pots right this size here and transplanted those into a couple of different locations over here. So this is one of the fig trees that I transplanted over here. And so what you see above the ground here, all, everything above the soil level is all new fig trees. Now I'm 6'2", and so these are all about 6'6". Six, six these are, and these fruit will not get to be full ripe ripeness uh, because these are outdoors. So there's plenty of figs on, on these trees, but what I should have done if I wanted these to get to ripen is at the end of June when the plant was about this tall, come out and pinch this apical bud right here. 
So what I should have done was pinch them off here when these plants were about this height right here, three and a half to four feet, pinch them off there, and that would force the plant to send out the fruit and they need a full 90 days to mature. So what, I'm, what we need to do is if we want these, these fig trees to grow them outside in a very cold temperate climate like this, sorry about the wind here, uh, we need to do the things of, we could just prune them all off at let's say three feet, buy some uh, chicken fencing or some uh, wire fencing, put it around the outside of it, and put some insulation. It could be uh, leaves from the fall. This is a time of year that the leaves start to come off of the uh, trees. So the leaves could act as a form of insulation. Another thing that can be done is to take these limbs and gently bend them down, lay them down and put insulation on them. So those are things to do. If you don't do that in this particular area in Oswego, New York, everything will die off at ground level. You'll just have these main sticks sticking up in the springtime and then you've got to go through with your loppers and prune them off. So this is just an example of being able to grow these outside. So someone who wants to grow figs and get a lot of figs, one plant or two of that size pl plant there or three of these ones would create one heck of a fig tree uh, bush in a sense that can be that can be treated like a berry bush and produce lots of figs uh, but again pruning them is essential so that you get get as much so that the figs can mature these ones will not mature in the next couple of weeks these guys need an, a month uh, or close to a month for those to mature so if you're south of where we are in a warmer climate, certainly this is very doable. The two varieties that we have that I can't tell the difference between, unless I've got a couple of figs over here I can tell. I've got some brown turkey figs, but we have Chicago hardy and brown turkey fig trees. I can't tell them apart because our labels all got destroyed and I've just, both of them are very similar to me and they grow like beautifully. So just wanted to show you how much they can grow you know, each season, here's another one over here. This was a smaller root mass, this, this fig tree that I planted in here. And some of these are only maybe four foot tall. And this one, unfortunately, I had weed whacked. I didn't realize it when it first, first started coming up. But all these are fruiting uh, buds here. So that, that can produce uh, many figs uh, but again you've got to insulate them well or prune them appropriately then then pinch the apical bud so that all of these figs will end up like there's a good example of the apical bud you just go ahead and pinch that right off I'll do that on this one that's all I do is just take that apical bud off and that tells the plant to start sending out the lateral shoots and it also tells the plant let's mature the fruit, fruit <coughs> so that we can ha uh, have seeds to uh, reproduce. So that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Sorry about it being windy here trying to hide behind this fig tree but this gives you an idea just how how big and beautiful these fig trees can get and uh, and you can get a lot of fruit from one or two uh, fig trees, even in a cold tempered climate. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the, in the description, in the comment section below. If you found this video of value, please give us a thumbs up. And by all means, folks, stay safe and take good care of yourself. I've got to get to work now. Bye-bye. <laughs>